the bowl season is finally here. So tonight I will be making my bowl mania predictions for the year 2016. Last year I believe I was above 500, but the goal is to get about 25 to 30 right this year. And before I get to that, this is your last chance to join my bowl mania bash. I believe we have 15 people in the group right now. You have until Saturday to enter. And I think one person put in three different entries or three different accounts, which you can do. I didn't. I never said you couldn't. It's one entry per account. Like, you can make a account under a different name. You could. You can put, like, I don't know, just like, you can put, like, Joe Smith 1 or Joe Smith 2 or something. One entry per account. Like, you can have an, you can make another ESPN account on a different email and enter that. And increase your chance of winning the group. That's probably what the kid did, and that was really smart. I'm not going to say who the person is, because this person might know who they already are. So let's get to the, the this is supposed to be the non-New Year's Six games at this time. The non-playoff matches that are in the New Year's Six, like the Orange, Cotton, Sugar, Rose, those will be in a separate video, probably tomorrow. And the two playoff matches, the the um, the Peach Bowl and the Fiesta, those semifinal matches will be separately. So it'll be a big one tonight, a small one tomorrow with those four non-playoff matchups in the New Year's Six, and then... The Washington, Alabama one, and then the Ohio State Clemson one will be two separate things. Let's quickly dive into this, as I've got something to watch in a couple minutes. North Carolina Central Eagles versus Grambling State. This is like the kickoff of the bowl season. I don't really have that much of intention to watch the game, to be honest with you. But I'm going to pick Grambling State. I just picked Grambling State because a bunch of, like everybody else has, and they're 11-1, and one, much better record, so... All right, New Mexico and Texas San Antonio. I picked New Mexico, kind of the same reason. Better record, and that's what the majority has. So majority's kind of ruling so far. Houston and San Diego State. Now, this is the most interesting. This is probably one of the top three group of five matchups we have this bowl season. Houston has some great wins over Louisville and Oklahoma this year. And San Diego State's got a great running game. But i got to pick Houston this one, although I think there might be a small distraction by Tom Herman not being there anymore. But I still think Houston can get it done. And I think Greg Ward is... I think Greg Ward wants to go out on top. All right. All right, we got Appalachian State and Toledo. This is kind of an interesting one. Appalachian State and Toledo. They're both really great 9-3 teams. But I have to go with Appalachian State here. I just think they're a little bit of a better team. Central Florida and Arkansas State. I'm big in Central Florida. I don't really need to explain myself, I don't think, on the group of five ones. Southern Miss and Louisiana Lafayette. Now, Louisiana Lafayette has done good in bowl games in the past. But I just think Southern Miss is going to win this one. Because so far, it's what the majority's got. All right, Central Michigan and Tulsa. I'm picking Tulsa in this one, but this is probably one of my lowest rankings in the bowl mini group. It's probably going to be inside one of my top tens. I think Central Michigan's got it in to win. Memphis, West Kentucky. I am picking West Kentucky in this one because I just know more about West Kentucky so far this year than I do Memphis. <clears throat> BYU and Wyoming. Now, this is the most interesting group of five matchup that we have in this bowl season. BYU and Wyoming. There are two talented teams in the group of five. But I'm picking BYU because they just have so much talent on that team that wants to end their college career on the winning side. I think that's going to be huge motivation. That will be an exciting game to watch come next Wednesday night. Idaho, Colorado State. I'm picking Colorado State over Idaho. <clears throat> Eastern Michigan and Old Dominion. I'm picking Eastern Michigan. I think they're going to be more motivated to play in that game than Old Dominion is. Both teams will have motivation, but I think it'll be Eastern Michigan that comes in on top. Louisiana Tech and Navy. I'm picking Navy to destroy Louisiana Tech. Ohio and Troy. Now, this is an interesting one as well. I'm going to pick Troy doing this one because I just... I've seen more positive things about Troy this year than I have Ohio. Ohio almost beat West Michigan, but Troy almost beat Clemson. Hawaii and Middle Tennessee. I am picking Middle Tennessee. Miami, Ohio versus Mississippi State. I'm picking Mississippi State. I think this is a no-brainer. Maryland, Boston College. I'm picking Maryland. North Carolina State and Vanderbilt. I'm picking North Carolina State. I'm picking Army over North 
Texas. Temple over Wake Forest. Washington, Minnesota. Well, this is where we're getting into the interesting ones. I'm picking Washington over Minnesota. I just feel like Washington State is... Washington may have not had a necessarily a strong end to the year, but I think they've done enough to where they can belong into a, a bowl game like this. I think they're going to win this one. I think it's going to be a really close one. I just think Minnesota's defense will have a hard time stopping the explosiveness of the Mike Leach type offense. <clears throat> Boise State and Baylor. I'm picking Boise State to win this one because Baylor has just had a horrible end of the year. I mean, they just looked depleted just week after week toward the end of the year. After that loss to Texas, things just went downhill for Baylor. Pittsburgh and Northwestern. I'm picking Northwestern in this game. James Conner is going to have a want to end a college career, his college career on a positive note. I think he's going to run right to the North Northwestern defense. And I'm picking Pittsburgh. West Virginia and Miami, Florida. I'm picking West Virginia. Indiana and Utah. I've got Utah. Dex A&M and Kansas State. I have Kansas State because I am a really doubtful Texas A&M fan right now. Based on how they ended the year, I don't think they can win this game. Although according to... Well, according to the Bull Mania pickums on ESPN, 79% have gone with Texas A&M. But I'm kind of a doubtful Texas A&M fan at this point. I'm, put, I'm picking Kansas State, but I think I'm going to put it really low on the Bull Mania sheet. Probably a 2 or 3. South Florida and South Carolina. I'm picking South Carolina to win this one because South Florida has some distractions right now with Willie Taggart taking the Oregon job. I think that's going to have a little bit of a distraction on them. I think South Carolina is going to pounce right on this. Arkansas and Virginia Tech. Now, this is a matchup that I think is really kind of interesting if you look at it. I mean, these are teams, these are great teams that have improved from last year. I think both teams have shown great improvement, though I think Virginia Tech has shown much more improvement. And Oklahoma State versus Colorado. The Colorado has been one of the most improved teams in college football all year long. Oklahoma State, they think they should be in a New Year Six. But I'm still being Oklahoma State to win this one because I just think that I think they're going to come out with more aggression than Colorado will. Although this is going to be a great game to see. I expect there to be a lot of offense this game. Kind of a lack of defense. Georgia and TCU. I am picking the Georgia Bulldogs for this one. Kind of like Baylor, TCU has just looked depleted all year long. Ever since a point, they've just not looked good. And Georgia, I think, I think Georgia's going to have a lot of momentum in this game. Stanford and North Carolina. I'm picking the Stanford. I'm picking the Stanford Cardinals to win this one. Christian McCaffrey, swan song in Stanford. Look for him to have a big game. But Elijah Hood will have a good game for North Carolina as well. I really hope this game just becomes really close. Nebraska and Tennessee. I am picking Tennessee to win this one. Sorry, Nebraska fans, but I just these are this is kind of a battle of two teams that aren't really that good. Well, they're they're good teams, but they're just not as good as what everybody was hyping them up to be this year. South Alabama and Air Force. I'm going with Air Force. LSU and Louisville. Now, this is really interesting. Where L I think LSU is going to beat Louisville, although it's going to be nice to see Lamar Jackson. Going up against an SEC defense like LSU's. But I just think LSU's got a lot to prove, especially after they signed Ed Orgeron to that huge coaching deal. I think this is going to be one of those games where they're going to have something to prove. And what better way to make a good a good statement to end the year than beating the team that has the Heisman Trophy winner on it? Georgia Tech versus Kentucky. Now, this is going to be a great game to watch. This is a battle of two teams that have not been present in bowl games in the past. But I'm picking Georgia Tech to win this one. I just think Kentucky is just not going to be able to stop that triple option. All right, Florida and Iowa. Now, this is going to be this is the last of the non-New Year Six, so we're going to end it right here. The Florida Gators, uh, the team that 
has a big fan called Big Papa J and Big Daddy J. Good buddy of mine. However, now that I look at it, this is going to be a kind of a coin flip game. I mean, I have Florida win this game right now, but I think something's going to change my mind within the week within the week to come. Well, I have till Saturday to change it. But I think I'm gonna these. I'm thinking I'm gonna pick, change some of these picks I have. I'll tell you the three that I'm thinking about changing. One of them is the Florida pick. Another, the other one's gonna be Ohio instead of Troy. And another one would probably be, to be honest, Wyoming BYU. Because the group of five ones are really hard, but this is the hardest one yet. Because Florida, I just don't think Florida is that good of a team at this point. Because they had a, they did not end the year well like they did last year. And Iowa's just had some great convincing wins over Michigan and Nebraska. And a good performance, a good effort against Wisconsin. Anyway, that's going to do it for your non-New Year's Six Bull, Bull Mania predictions. We're going to have the New Year's Six ones tomorrow. And then we're going to have the the big semifinals probably next week. I really can't wait to share all the all the rest of the predictions with you guys. Like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, share this with your friends on family and on social medias. Facebook, Twitter, the Instagrams, Snapchats. Let's go with maybe... Pinterest or Tumblr if it's possible. Anyway, have a good day, everybody. I will see you next time.